Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter set, um, set number 75947, Hagrid's Hub, Buckbeak's Rescue, and this set ha has 496 pieces, and the minifigures included are Hagrid, the Executioner, the Minister of Magic, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, and Harry Potter. Uh, let's look over the box real quick. This is a box, as you can see, it's um, Hagrid's hut. Um, it's in the courtyard of uh, the Hogwarts castle, if you want to call it that. Here you have, um, I believe it's from the Prisoner of Azkaban, um, this set. Also, um, I'm going to be reviewing the Hogwarts as press pretty soon. Um, I think they're from the same movie. Um, if you do know, check, uh, please let me know in the comment below. Also, this set is, uh, also includes a light break. And it's part of the Wizarding World of, uh, Harry Potter universe. Here's the backside. Um, as you can see, um, this set has a, a lot of features. Um, one thing I really like about this box is it has, uh, thumb pads. Uh, which I really like. It destroys the box. Um, as you can see right here. Um, but yeah, let's look over the uh, minifigures real quick. So this is a Hagrid minifigure, um, as you can see. Um, it's very different from the other uh, minifigures. Uh, let's look at the Minister Magic real quick. Here's a little comparison. Um, he's very different in size also because um, I think it's a special mold for the Hagrid. Um, he also has... Uh, his beard and his hair, which is a one piece, which we're gonna be looking at in a second. Um, I actually like his uh, his robes, his uh, dress clothes. Well, not really dress clothes, but his normal clothes. I really like that. I like the pin also. And he also uses uh, uh, the mini legs, which we're gonna be looking at in a second. Here's the back. And let's look at the other here's what Hagrid looks without his uh beard or mustache you can see it's one piece uh he also has one face um he doesn't have a, a back print I also forgot to mention that uh this Hagrid comes with his uh umbrella uh, I'm not sure if it's his wand or, or something uh, I'm not sure um but yeah it does come with that uh I think it also this umbrella also comes with uh uh hogwarts great hall um i've been also wanting to get that set for a while now i know i recently saw a target for 100. the second minifigure including the set is a uh, harry potter from i believe it's prisoner of azkaban um i know this torso also came out in aragog slayer which i do not have um but yeah um uh it's an all right torso um here as you can see his jacket. Um, it's a uh, unzipped. I think on the other one on Aragog's layer is zipped, so uh, it's a different torso. Uh, yeah. Uh, he also has a uh, mid uh legs. Here's the back. Uh, there's not much difference. Um, uh, one thing I do like about the hair piece is that you can. Faintly see his uh his scar, his lightning bolt scar. Uh, it it makes space for his hair for his lightning bolt scar. He also has a second face, which this one is more of a happy one. The next minifigure included is Hermione Granger. Um, I really like this torso, uh, especially this, which I think is uh it's a. Uh, to reverse time by I forgot the name. Um I just saw the the film but um I really like her torso. Um I really like how um the print for her where she puts her, her hands, her pockets. I really like that and how the uh zipper uh it looks and uh, her her T shirt is um it's like three D in a way. Uh, she also used her, this type of hair, which is, um, mostly on, 
all the rest of the Harry Potter sets. Um, she also used uh, blue uh, torso prints. Lights. Um, here was the light I was talking about. Um, but yeah. Um, she does um, use a different type of hair on the clock tower, which uh, I'm going to be reviewing pretty soon. Um, here's her Hermione Granger. Uh, it's different from um, uh, the piece that she, that she uses. Uh, this is from the Umbridge's Encounter Hermione. As you can see, it's the same. Uh, same piece and she also uh, has a second face which is a, a more happy one the other one was a more angry looking one the next uh, minifigure included is Ron Weasley um, I think this one also is from the same set from Aragog's Lair um, I'm not sure uh, but if you guys do know uh, check it out uh, and leave it down in the comments below if it is or is it um, uh, this uh, torso print is pretty much, um, generic, I guess, in a way. Um, it's not really much, um, print in this set. Torso is like the Hermione, which has a lot of detail. Um, yeah, um, pretty generic. Uh, just a red sweater with a red t-shirt and some, uh, gray, uh, to legs. She didn't really much, um, much exclusivity for this set. Here's a bag, there's not much difference. Uh, the hair, uh, you, you can get it in, like, literally any other set. Like, this one is the same hair piece. Yeah, and same face. The next movie thing included in, in this set is the Minister of Magic. Um, I really like his print. Uh, I really like his uh, green tie um, and his suit. Um, I really like that. And I believe the legs are... Um, I believe they're the same as uh, Darth Vader's legs. Um, and I really like how they match his, his, uh, his torso and legs. And how they match. And here's the back. There's much, not much you see. And he does not have a... Uh, second face print because he, he has a wearing a hat as you can see and finally you get the executioner um this i believe we don't really ever see much of this uh minifigure um in any other set uh because i think he did just come out on the scene where they try to um execute Buckbeak. um but yeah i think it's an exclusive um minifigure he also has his um his axe uh it's in a right build um looks really good uh here's a print of his uh torso which is it's all right um um and his um skin is a little pale um which like has been having the problem um, a lot in literally every other set and as you can see he has a uh, the old style helmet um the P sorry but yeah other than that um he's a pretty generic one and finally here is Hagrid's hut set um this set I, I actually really like um I might get another set um like this um because I'm making a little village for um the Harry Potter says like the ones I set sets I have. So uh I might be making a vlog, I'm not sure. Um I uh, this actually in the works. Uh let me show it to you guys real quick. Here is a set. Um it's actually still in the works. Um here are some sets that I've, I've opened, like uh, uh Ridges Encounter. And I do actually have another set of this one, the Quidditch match. Um which I might be putting it there and then um the clock tower pro I'll probably put it here where um here he is and here is 
the wolf accents carriage which i'm gonna do be doing a video shortly uh i'm not sure when i'll, I'll be um doing it i uh, also plan on doing a video of uh, the batmobile um and also i i'll probably do an, a review of uh, the at i probably haven't done it before but yeah um it's still in the works um if you guys do have suggestions of where i should put this stuff and stuff um please leave me down in the comments below uh let's go over the um small part real quick first um this is a, a pretty well built um hagrid's hut um one thing that I, I do really like are the windows uh some windows do actually uh fold out like this one um uh, but this one doesn't uh fold out uh i really like how uh, they use these steps um these steps where you can put the minifigures as, as they're walking outside um, i also like these tiles how, how they used it and these um leaves um i also actually really like this part too and Oh, also the doors are stickers. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I may have put it wrong. Um, these doors do actually open. Uh, both of them, they open and close. Uh, I'll probably um do uh buy another one if I see one. Um, which I'll probably connect for both. Um, to see how they look. Um, so stay tuned for that one. Um, I actually like this wall, which is a fireplace, uh, here. You can see, um, you, I don't know if you can see the light. Uh, which we're going to be like in a second. And these are, uh, also flaps. Uh, they're kind of weak, though. So, um, uh... One thing I don't really like, but you're probably not, not even going to see, is the these blue pieces. But yeah, let's look over the inside. Here's the um, second part of uh, the hut. Um, as you can see, um, you have a chair for uh, Harry to read. Um, the boy who lived the uh, newspaper. And here has his candle. Um, one thing I did um, put on this set um is uh this technique pin right here to uh, hold the lamp because um you couldn't really put it anywhere um because you couldn't really put it there because everything was all uh cramped up so uh, i just um with the extra piece i just uh put a technique clip there and just put his light um i guess for like a light i guess but um it does look good also with this has a test where which we're gonna be looking at in a minute. Um, I actually like, really like this desk. It's a uh, pretty well built, also. I really like how like the color schemes also. And it also does include a spider. Um, I guess as a reference for um Aragog. Here's the second part. Um, it does have this uh ball pin piece right here, which I'm not sure what what it is for. Um, if you guys do know, please let me know in the comments. Um, let's look over the, uh, top stuff. Um, here's a, a, a knife and a bucket and a lasso. Here's cooking pan and a, a, a spoon, which you also do get a spoon, another spoon. I don't know if you can see it's, uh, there on the bottom. Uh, one thing we really like also about this set is, uh, this, um, chair. Looks really, really good. And it's, uh, pretty well built. Um, you also get two of these, two of these bags. Um, sure they're alright, I mean. Um, also, um, you also go to the table and the teapot. Uh, the chairs are, um, removable. Uh, they're held by that piece of tile and... Uh, this piece right here. Um, 
one thing I really like to say, um, which was the fire pit, uh, you um, press it by the chimney. Uh, you guys can see the mechanism. Uh, one thing I did discover is that um, for the ball pin here, you have to um, push it out a little, but not um, put it completely in, cause then it'll won't work really that much. Um, so you have to um, have a little gap so it could work properly, and you just push it. Um, I really like how this looks. Uh, with the fire and fire pit, um, I guess I wish they could have added um a sticker there, um, for uh the burning, I guess. Um, also it does come with the broom and uh this uh piece right here, which I'm not really sure sure why they put it right there. And I uh, also forgot to mention that it does have an entrance right here, uh, which I, I really like. The contents inside the chest was the chocolate frog, um, which I probably you probably get from the Hogwarts Express. Um, but yeah, um, there wasn't really much inside the chest. And finally, uh, this is a pumpkin patch uh, where they try to execute Buckbeak. Um, you do get Buckbeak, um, which I guess is an exclusive, um, piece, in a way. Um, I do actually look, like how the, the, they use a, a bike handle right here, with the chain around it for, um, his, um, uh, so he doesn't run away, I guess. Um, he does have, have wings, and you can actually put Harry, which we're, we're going to be looking at in a second. You get, um, you actually do get, uh, four of these, uh, pumpkin, um, uh, pumpkins. And, uh, these, uh, this purple, uh, head. Um, it's, it's an alright, uh, build. Um, you, you could put different plants right here. Um, for example, I put... The uh, mandrake, uh, right here, um, for the little town that I'm making, um, uh, this for um, for the Professor Sprout minifigure. So um, she's enchanting it, I guess, in a way. Um, I don't know. I, I guess this was a throw-in. Um, it's a small build. But I, in my opinion, I, I do believe it was a throw-in, and, but yeah. You could also put Harry, um, on his back. Um, his head does, um, go, um, up and down, uh, as you can see. Um, so that's a plus, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's go over my final thoughts. My final thoughts for this set is... Um, it's a good set. Um, it has a decent selection of minifigures. You do get the th the trio of the Harry Potter franchise in one set. Um, you mostly get the trio in literally every set. Um, that's typically not seen in Star Wars. Um, you do have to purchase, um, every single, uh, set if you want to, um, make the complete set. Like, the, um, Millennium Falcon. Uh, which I'm going to be doing a review. Um, but yeah, uh, you get Finn, but you don't get Rey or the other characters. Um, but I guess it's marketing. Um, but yeah, uh, I do recommend you guys get this set. Um, whenever you can. Um, but um, it's a good set, and I do recommend you guys get it. Um... And, uh, the minifigure section is actually quite large. Um, typically not seen, like, the Star Wars ones. Where $40, um, uh, set gives you, like, two minifigures. So, um, uh, the Harry Potter ones are, are pretty good, uh, for minifigure selection. And I do recommend you guys get this set. Um, but yeah, um, 
anyways uh that's the end of the review so i hope you guys liked it and uh please like and subscribe for more um content videos um whenever i release them and stay stay tuned for that uh vlog uh which i'll probably make i'm not sure um yeah uh anyways um stay safe guys and please like and subscribe and goodbye